Okay, so it's Luke here for Simbox. Just before we get going, I'd like to give a shout out to my sponsor, Bear Attack Boxing. You can find them across social media. And I'm delighted to announce that I'm joined by former WBA Superfan and champion, Scott Quick. How are okay, you doing, Scott? Mate. Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good. So it's, uh, it's good to see you here, you know, sporting a local uh, boxing event. Um, local boxing event in my own town, so I've got to come out and support it. Yeah. A couple of fighters that are known on it, so he's still coming down and supporting him, looking forward to it. Yeah, it's good to see him in, and obviously, let's get straight to the point here. We can see the, uh, the arm injury, arm. yeah, the bionic arm. Um, can you just take us briefly through that? Like, what's yeah, going on I was now? supposed to fight on the 26th of April out in LA, um, and on the 15th of April, I was in the last time we tra training, sparring, um, and I split my my bicep 90, 95% all the way through so that was literally hanging on by a thread and then ripped the tendon off my elbow come off the bone uh, so I had to have an operation but I was out there uh, couldn't fight and now it's looking like they say four or five months rehab you know, until it's back 100% so I'm aiming for I want to fight this year at least so I'm looking at November and December now uh, fingers crossed everything going well. Yeah, well, it's, it's good to hear, you know, and obviously with such an injury like that, to hear that you're going to be able to bounce back eventually, you know, it's going to be a good thing. Now, um, obviously, you're only 30 years old, and obviously you've, you've had such a great career already. Um, what, what can we expect you moving forward from Scott Quake once we recover from the injury? Well, this is probably one of the best camps I've had. You know, I felt like I was producing some of the best boxing that I've been doing. I felt like I'd improved with the work that uh, me and Freddie have been putting in over the last couple of camps was enjoyed really starting to sink in and set in. Um, so I still, I still believe I can become world champion again. So if I didn't, you know, if I didn't think I could enough, if I didn't think I was still improving, I'd pack it in. You know, it's too hard of a game and I dedicate too much of my life to it. You know, just to take part and be, you know, just the, the normal, like a normal job. Uh, I still, I'm still improving. I still believe I can be Congo champion, and I'm still enjoying my boxing. And that's the main. How high up in your list of priorities with the rematch with Frampton lie? The, the, that's it's one of them. I've always wanted the the rematch. Uh, I want the rematch with uh, Baldas as well. Um, I believe John said I've got to put myself in the position to get that. You know, I, well, you know, Baldas is still world champion. He's still. Or doing well. Um, Frampton's at a different stage of his career now. But like I say, I've, they're the only two that have beat me. And you know, if you didn't want to enjoy, you, know, you hear some people that go, or you know, oh, just move on. If the rematches never happen, you don't happen. But I'm always going to want a rematch with someone who's beat me. You know, because if I didn't want them, you know, if you don't want to get with you know, revenge over someone who's beat and then I think you're a mumble. Yeah. You know, yeah. you you got you gotta got you know someone beats you and you believe you can beat them and you go away, you work, improve, then you want that being yeah. If they don't happen, they don't happen. But you know, if you can then you know they're yeah. there. But at the minute I am I'm not focusing on that. You know, I, like I say I'm campaigning with super featherweight now. Um, um ranked with the IBF and this one was a, an eliminator for you know fight, to fight Tim and Farmer so it was you know, I'm just manoeuvring myself into the position of you know getting a world title shot and the fight against Jason Velez that would have put me in line but like I say we, once this is healed now you know it'll be we'll just go back to the drawing board and plan the route on where we're going to be going. Yes, I appreciate your time, Scott. I'd like to wish you the very best in your recovery, and we look forward to seeing you back in the ring. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you.